Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, a little bit of everything with Erin. Today we will be doing a quick tutorial with our Silhouette Cameo. I will be showing you how to curve words if you don't have the business edition to use the warp option. I swore I did this video before, but I can't find it, so I figured we'd just do it again. First thing you'll need to do is make a circle. If you hold the shift button down while you're dragging your circle, it'll be even on all sides. I'm going to show you this with cursive letters and irregular letters so that you can see the difference. So we'll just take this font and we'll type out happy birthday. And we'll just take this font and type out happy new year. Oops. I will make the letters colored so that we can see them and I will take the cut line color out so it's easier to see and make it a little bigger so it'll fit on the circle. Sorry, I'm just trying to get it all ready for you guys. And I'll put the other circle here. So we'll do the straight script first. So when you double click on this, and let me zoom in a little bit. When you double click on this, you'll get this cross right here. Whenever this cross touches a line, it will make the letters bend to that line. Now keep in mind, you can only do this with a font. If you went to Google and you found an image of a word that said, let's say, Merry Christmas, and you traced it and then tried to do this, it will not work because that trace is actually an image. You cannot curve the image on the line like this with this option. You would need to use the warp tool to do that, and that is in the business edition. So I'm going to grab this cross, and I'm going to bring it down to the circle. Once I touch the circle and the cross, it'll curve the word. And that's how you would curve it. Now you're saying, well, Erin, I wanted it inside the circle, not on the outside. So if you curve it that way, it's going to be on the inside of the circle. Where you're like, well, that's not what I wanted. Right, so what you're going to want to do is grab it, put it on the outside of the circle, bring it to where you want it, and then you have this other line right here. See it? Right here. So you want to grab that and pull it in. And that goes underneath. Or you can bring it up and it makes it bigger. Now, if, when you get it into this space and all the letters are touching, it's going to cut funny. So you'll have to play with your spacing before. So like I would have to take it off the circle and then go back to my font and then play with the character spacing, bring it back down onto that curve there and bring it in. And you just have to go back and forth until you are happy with it. Now to get this to cut right, get rid of the circle because as soon as I go to move this, the whole circle's coming with it. What I like to do is click the word, right click, and hit convert to path. Now I can take the circle and just delete it. It's gone. I don't need it anymore. So we'll just move that to the side. So with cursive, you kind of have to watch that as well, just like with the straight font there, because if you go and weld this now, you will not be able to put it on the line. It, you turned it into an image instead of a font and it won't work. So again, we'll right click and bring that in. And depending on the font that you use, if you're using a script, it's either going to sit on that line well or it's going to get jumbled. And that's when you'll have to go back into the font section and play with your character spacing until you get it right. And again, you could just grab this bar. And I'll be honest, like sometimes this bar comes up with some fonts, but I can't grab it. I just don't know if that font isn't able to move. No matter how much I zoom into that little bar there, it just won't let me grab it to move it. So you may have to change your image to go with a font that will actually work. I just happen to know that these two would work. Um, I can't think of one that won't at the moment. And again, you would just right click just the wording and then you would right click and hit convert to path but I just wanted to show you on the bottom as well so if we double click 
and bring that script in. When you go to do it on the bottom, it follows that line, so it's not going to be the right way. So you would need to bring that inside the circle. And get it in there. And then if you needed more spacing, you would just pull that in or out. But you see how the wording reads the correct way now. That's how you do that. You have to go inside the circle and then move it in or out depending on how you want the image to look. I know a lot of people have problems doing that bottom part. So again, we would just click it, right click, convert to path, and then we can delete this. And then I can right click and hit weld. And now the letters that are touching will cut together instead of cutting out of each other. And then of course I would right click that and group it just so that it moves as one image. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment down below. I do try to answer those. Um, I do have a couple kids, so sometimes it's not right away, but I do try to make an effort to answer everyone's questions. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. I really appreciate when you guys do that, and when you share it, it really helps me out. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, and if you hit the bell at the top of the page, you'll get notifications anytime I post new videos. Until next time, guys, happy crafting!